today we are talking about a powerful production tool, the event script. We'll discuss why you need them, how to create them, and how to use them. Have you ever watched a televised awards show and the speaker falters because they don't know where to go, or the microphone doesn't come on, or the video doesn't roll at the right time? These are all mistakes that can be prevented with a well-prepared show, and one key element of that is a well-prepared event script. Some people have asked, why do you need a script? We have all the content written, it's all we need, right? Well, I disagree. There's so much more to a great production than just the spoken word. The most important reason for a script is that it is in fact a live show. Anything can happen. There are no take twos and no retakes. As planners, we work out all the details about the event and consider all the possibilities of what can happen or go wrong and what we would do in a specific situation. It's no different with a live production. Planning for a well-executed live show is incredibly important and having a well-prepared script is the necessary tool for this outcome. Having all the details about what happens on stage, including the spoken word, lights, music, and visual cues, all incorporated, makes it much easier for those delivering the content on stage and for the show to flow perfectly. So how do you create a script? The first part is knowing what is to be covered and how long you have to deliver the message. Before we even get to the script development, we at Really Fabulous have a tool that we use to start the script development process. We refer to it as the boxes. It's a document that lists all the segments or sections of the live event and outlines all the details of the entire show, including who is speaking, when, about what, what props, visuals, and music or staging directions are needed for the show. The first column shows the start time for that element, followed by the duration of that particular segment. The who indicates the person delivering the segment on stage. This is the MC or a particular speaker. <clears throat> the where indicates which placement on stage. Is it podium stage right, center stage? And also allows a quick look at the use of the stage. The what refers to the content to be covered during that particular segment and the content that will be de developed in the script. The notes column is usually populated with special notes for the technicians, reminders about props, that a speaker will be wearing a specific microphone or lav, or bringing their own presentation on a USB stick. This is going to be a work in progress, but you can certainly use it as you progress through the script development. Not all segments will be final at the beginning. Things will move around, content won't be final, so some sections will be empty until closer to the event. This completed document will also be an at-a-glance version of the show for those that don't need an entire script. It's a great snapshot of what is happening and when. Once you have this completed, even if there are still gaps, a script can be developed. At Really Fabulous, we use a basic three-column template. Column one is for speakers' names, staging instructions, and props. Column two is for the cues, so things like light, sound, visuals are identified here. And column three is for the spoken word and can include the video roll if you want to include it here. This also makes it easy to find specific items as the show moves on. A script is only as good as its user, so here are some suggestions on how to effectively use a script. Encourage all presenters, no matter how seasoned they may be, to read it again and even read it one more time. Encourage them to practice it out loud. This amount of practice ensures that everyone knows exactly what is expected of them, which entrance and exit to use, which names to read from podium. If there are multiple podiums, the speaker knows which one to go to, the techs know which one to light and activate the correct microphone. A script can be created in larger font for ease of reading for those who don't want to bring their glasses to the stage. It's important to practice pronunciation. Imagine winning a prestigious award and your name is announced incorrectly. This can be alleviated with phonetic spelling and practice beforehand. By writing the names phonetically for that particular speaker, ensure that the winner is announced correctly, ensuring recognition remains a special moment for the recipient. Practicing the script wording in advance will help identify words that are difficult to pronounce. In a previous program, we had a speaker who had difficulty with a word in the script that was used over and over in their particular content. We had to modify the word because the speaker would struggle and the word would always come out as something inappropriate. 
By using a word that was much more comfortable for that speaker, we ensured a smooth delivery. And this was only caught because of practice. In some situations, speakers want to use cue cards. If you're going to do this, it's best to use the script and cut and paste it if you have to right onto the card. This ensures that the integrity of the show is maintained. You've all heard about the beauty contest recently where the win wrong winner was identified because the script wasn't followed and the cue cards were not consistent with the layout. You definitely don't want this happening at your show. Rehearsals. These are so important. Everyone involved in the stage show will be clear about how the show will go on. Often there's confusion about stage left or house left. For everyone is at the rehearsal, it's clear where they need to be, what side of the stage they will enter the scene. It's also a great time to get used to the spotlight intensity on the podium. And if you're using adjustable podiums, the height can be set. Speakers can get used to the stairs, the lights, and what it feels like to be on your stage. While a script will not ensure 100% that there will not be any mistakes, it's a live show after all, but a well-created script that is practiced and practiced again will go a long way to ensuring a flawless show. Bottom line, you can ensure a great stage presentation with preparedness and a great script. Thank you so much for watching.